Along the stunning cliffs of Stevens Clint, where ancient secrets are embedded in stone, a Danish fossil hunter recently stumbled upon something completely unexpected. This site, a UNESCO-listed treasure trove of Cretaceous-era fossils, has revealed everything from marine reptiles to ammonites, but this time the discovery wasn't a towering skeleton or a fearsome predator's tooth, it was something much smaller and far more bizarre. Peter Benecke, a dedicated fossil enthusiast, was scouring the rocky coastline when he spotted a strange lump. Its rough texture and composition suggested it was more than just a random piece of rock. Intrigued, he took it to Geo Museum Facts, where experts, including museum inspector Jesper Milan and paleontologist John Jott, carefully analyzed the find. What they discovered left them stunned. The fossil contained the remains of at least two species of sea lilies, marine organisms related to sea stars and sea urchins. But what made this find truly remarkable was how the sea lilies ended up fused together in the first place. Millions of years ago, some ancient predator, most likely a fish, devoured these sea creatures. But sea lilies with their rigid calcium-rich skeletons aren't exactly easy to digest. Unable to process its meal, the predator did what many modern animals still do today, it regurgitated the indigestible remains. Over time, this prehistoric pile of vomit fossilized, preserving a rare snapshot of an ancient digestive struggle. While vomit may not be the most glamorous subject in paleontology, discoveries like this are scientific gold mines. Fossilized regurgitate, yes, that's the technical term, can reveal invaluable details about prehistoric food chains, predator-prey relationships, and even the dietary habits of creatures that lived 66 million years ago. This is direct evidence of what an ancient animal ate and how it struggled to digest its meal, Milan explained. Such finds help us reconstruct the food webs of the Cretaceous seas in ways we rarely get to see. For those curious or brave enough to see history's most famous case of prehistoric indigestion, the fossil is now on display at Denmark's Geo Museum Facts as part of a special exhibition. Though it might not be the most majestic fossil ever found, it's certainly one of the most unusual, because after all, how often do you get to see a 66 million year old meal that didn't sit well?